and Second Ward Councilwoman Beth Mason is calling on lawmakers to approve legislation that would require state government to post all of its financial transactions on the Internet. She says this would help to bring much-needed transparency to the government's use of taxpayer dollars. Hoboken Councilwoman Beth Mason, president of People for Open Government, is upset that a videographer was asked to shut off his videotaping equipment. Mason says it's the common law right for the public to have access to that portion of the meetings which are not in closed session. And now to our exclusive interview with a politician who said no. Tom Yamas continues our team coverage with a look at the woman who says she chose not to take part in the alleged corruption scheme. That's right, Sue. Back in May, Beth Mason was running for Hoboken mayor. An acquaintance recommended she meet with Solomon Dweck. Dweck told her he was a developer with deep pockets and that he was interested in her campaign. I'd like to think I'm not a minority, and I keep hoping that that's the case. Beth Mason, Hoboken's new council president, has a long history of fighting for the rights of everyday people. Beth began her career in public service as an advocate for openness and transparency in local and state government, becoming the president of the New Jersey Foundation for Open Government and founding Hoboken People for Open Government. Beth Mason was instrumental in putting a referendum on the ballot to enact the toughest campaign finance reform laws in the nation, right here in Hoboken. She took on the bureaucrats in City Hall, taking them to court to open up the doors of government. Beth was successful in making public documents more affordable, in making sure city council and board of education meetings are videotaped and televised, and in fighting to uncover wasteful spending, such as thousands of dollars in long-distance calls made on city-issued cell phones, and politicians' tabs for $1,000 steak dinners paid for by Hoboken taxpayers. As a councilwoman, she challenged the city council to cut their own pay before laying off city employees or raising taxes. She called on the city council to stop receiving health benefits for their part-time job, and she championed the largest road resurfacing in Hoboken history. Now, she has a new cause. For the past two years, the city government has overcharged citizens on their taxes. As a result, there's a surplus, and it's growing bigger every day. The professional politicians and government bureaucrats want to keep your money, even though you should have never been taxed for it to begin with. Beth Mason believes it's your money. It was unfairly taken from you, and it should be returned to you in a tax cut. And that's what she's fighting for right now. Join Beth Mason in calling on the mayor and city council to enact a real tax cut. Beth Mason, lower taxes, people first.